Hey guys, it's the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. I'm out here in the Sonoran Desert. It's about ooh, 103 right now degrees Fahrenheit. And I want to do some testing today of my gear. And specifically, we're going to kick off a series on software defined radios. Right now, I'm three quarters of a mile out. And I basically have my SDR and Audacity configured to do voice activated recording. Now, my goal is to always do uh, VHF, UHF site surveys with different radios, different power levels, different antennas, but typically I need a partner or at least a handful of people to help. But now with the software defined radio for about 30 bucks online, I think I'm gonna be able to do all the testing myself. All I have to do is transmit out here with the information I want. It should be picked up by my station at the house and recorded for me to listen to. So stick around and we'll run some tests. So just wanna to get to one mile before we start. All right, folks, before the uh, GoPro overheats, let's go ahead and try this test. I'm using my VX6R on its max power, that's five watts. I'm gonna transmit right now, and hopefully the SDR will record. The garage is also at like 94 degrees, so hopefully that equipment is good to go. This is KT1RU1. Testing out here, position one in the Tonto National Forest on the Yesu VX6R, running five watts at approximately 1.55 kilometers. Still at position one, my northing is 0403369. My easting is 3752127. All right, let's see how that works. Let's do another half mile out, see where we land. All right, we're about a mile and a half out, uh, 2,400 kilometers, and let's go ahead and give this a go. At position two, at roughly 1632 local time, running five watts on the VX6R. All right, let's do the coordinates for position two. Still at position two, my northing is 0404074. My easting is 3752399. KT1 RUN. Woo! All right, it's getting warm. I don't know if the equipment's gonna last. Well, folks, I'm really surprised that the GoPro did not die on me today, but I'm more concerned about the SDR in the 94 plus degree shack. So hopefully this experiment worked out. I know this is not your standard SDR video, but we're all about practical uses of amateur radio on this channel. So stick around and hopefully I'll be home in about 12 minutes and uh, we can see if this experiment was worth the, uh, the heat and the effort. All right guys, we're uh, back in the shack and let's see if we captured anything. And it looks like there's some audio waves there and we have about a minute and three seconds um, just to recap I'm running the CF20 with SDR plus plus audacity and then I have the uh, RTL uh, SDR connected to some coax out to a Aero 2 antenna and uh, we're at 93 degrees in the shack I just need to cool down grab a beer and uh, we'll see how things went all right, guys, I wanna make this real easy. Let's go ahead and just take a look at what I'm actually seeing. I have my CF20 here. I've already shut down the SDR++ software, and all we're looking at is Audacity. There's about a minute and three seconds of audio. And what's great is I basically was out there for about 57 minutes, and I have a continuous clip. Let's listen to a little bit. Still at position one, my northing is at zero. At position two, at roughly 16.32 local time, running five watts on the... All right, so as you can see there, there was a time in between me being at the first position. I ran about another half mile, and there was only about one second of audio delay in between. So my success was 100% successful. And really what I want everybody to get out of this video is not so much how to walk away from this video and set this up. We'll talk about that in the next video. Instead, it's more planting the seed of what's possible with some technology, basically a $30 SDR and the ability to do voice activated recordings. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this practical application of the technology that I don't think has been talked about in this way. 
And for those of you who are really thinking right now um, and not watching me sweat all over the place, you can see that this has an application for monitoring just about any frequency and having a continuous recording. So you can basically put it on your preferred HF frequency, wake up in the morning and play back that audio uh, in your drive to work. You could do this for monitoring public safety. So we're gonna get into all this configuration in the next episode, but I just wanted to plant the seed. And again, bear in mind, I am brand new to software-defined radios. I know nothing about this area. I've only been experimenting for a week, but I'm already really happy with my first real-world scenario. All right, guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared. Oh. Things I do for YouTube. You guys rock, especially you guys on Buy Me A Coffee.